जननी शारदा देवी रामकृष्ण जगद्गु पादपद्मे तयो श्रुवा प्रणमा मुहुर्मुहु श्री रामकृष्ण इज इन अधर्स हाउस he is giving most valuable instructions to create the divine awareness how a jiva has to evolve holding on to the divine and surrendering the ego master the gopis worshiped katyayani in order to be united with shri krishna everyone is under the authority of divine mother mahamaya the primal energy even the incarnations of god accept the help of maya to fulfill their mission on the earth gopis when god incarnates so many people so many devatas so many siddhas they want to have the company of god on the earth so many devatas came down some as cows some as calves some as gopis some as gopas and all were the companion imagine their heights of knowledge understanding purity and awarenesses that in spite of being free from the karmic uh, load of the human existence being in the celestial areas they want to enjoy the company of god when he descends to the earth and even they the moment they acquire a body all limitations of bodily things come into picture what we have experienced in the previous life nothing we remember except the tendencies by birth we acquire our own tendencies tendencies and come which we are clearly visible when children are born when a child is born it develops in a particular way it has already acquired and come it is not nature is not providing there just like nature is providing food and keeping the bodily existence alive like that nature is not feeding with experiences the moment it comes into a particular body bodily limitations and its own nature it has acquired that body and come into that place particular place with a particular body in a particular family and a particular place on the earth it has come because of its karmic load and the tendencies it has acquired now look at a um, duck new just a chick born it just it has learned to walk if it sees water immediately it slides down into the water see the chick of a hen doesn't go the moment it sees water it will run away it starts moving about on the earth how the tendencies the it it has passed acquired tendencies or the bodily tendencies that body at the moment the soul acquires that body that body has the tendency apart from the bodily tendencies in human you see the nature entirely different differs from person to person maybe children of same person, mother born at a time maybe like twins but their nature the 
they, the way in which a child behaves, they are in the same atmosphere, they are having the same parents, uh, and place also is same. But the way in which they approach the world, every small things they attend to, entirely different from each other. That means there is already a past software with which they are arrived. This limitation, <coughs> how it comes into, and to transcend this again, and how that limitation is put, these gopis and all, they are not bound by the, it is not out of the karmic load they have been born as the gopis of Vrindavan. Their desire, their longing to be with Krishna. And having come here uh, as the gopis, now they want to do the worship of Divine Mother because the whole thing is governed by the power. The whole play is going on. And escape is also in that only. And everything looks like a dream when you analyze and see. In dream you just observe how you enter dream, how you experience the multiplicity which is not there when you are experiencing also. People are there, streets are there, space is there, earth is there, water is there, food is there, enemies are there, friends are there, everything just like this world. Same qualities, nature, fear, anxiety, everything I have. And how did it happen, you see? The spell of mind. Mind has created a world and taken me there. And everything is looking as if it is real. Till I wake up, I weep and laugh. Like I do in the waking state. And who took me inside that? And the power which took me into the dream world, which is not there, a mere appearance. It has created there a appearance in which I am also there. It has created me also. I just go and identify with that body. And how I become one with that. And the spell which has been made by the mind when it is withdrawn or when the nature which has planned the whole thing is releasing then only I have a release. You, unless I wake up from dream, till the dream lasts, it is real for me. And the power which has taken me into the dream has to release me, bring me back. That power which took me to deep sleep, took me to dream state, has to bring me back to the waking state. But waking state also, is as much unreal as the dreaming state. Because when I pass back into the dream, this world is not there. When I wake up, dream world is not there. And when I go to the deep sleep, both are not there. How slowly we withdraw. And what am I? Where am I? And this the maya of the mind that takes me into the dream world and presents a dream world, when it, I can have a release, but when will I get the release from the waking state that I have been brought into? Now in dream, whatever I want to alter, it must be grace of the dream creator, the mind, like that here also. Now the whole thing is under that power which creates this universe and takes us. It can release me any moment. The whole story is there and if I am not there, the whole story ends there. The world ends if I am not there. Hmm. Like that, this gopis worshipped Katya. The essence of Sri Ramakrishna is telling all this is See, nothing can be avoided. You are coming to a realm where everything is governed by another power over which you don't have control. 
you can't change anything in this universe you can't change anything on the, over this earth you can't change yourself nothing can be done but you have to slowly take some wear some grip to emerge out of this that emerging out is most important part so the shram krishna is telling all this is surrender get rid of your ego and be free in dream i have dream ego in waking i have waking dream ego can i dissolve this ego and i am what i am i the gopis worship kate in order to be united with krishna though they have come with the same purpose they had to hmm, because once i enter into a realm i am governed by its laws everyone is under the authority of divine mother maha maya the prima premier primal primal energy even the incarnations of god accept the help of maya to fulfill their mission prakritim swam adishthaya sambhavami atma maya atma maya his own maya he yields to it requests his own power now blind me and take me to the earth and give me a birth god incarnating his real aspect remains as it is unchanging the unchanging absolute reality the absolute existence remains as it is the bodily existence descends with a new body new created body his presence is dwelling in it as i am this the lord is wrapped with the body of the bo- world world itself is body it is vishvarupa the whole world uh, that how it is e- taking recourse to his own power he descends everywhere that in uh, adhyatmika adhyatma ramayana we see hanuman starts getting a few doubts rama starts tries to clear them and then uh, finally he says to sita uh, now you instruct him you tell the bring the reality to his understanding sita says my child where is your rama there is no rama rama cannot be seen rama cannot be you cannot access rama what you are seeing rama as rama is myself i have become all this whole universe the 24 cosmic principles the bodily existence everything is myself the rama who you are saying rama rama is myself the real rama is chaitanya swarupa it cannot be seen it is in you energizing you giving life to your bodily existence he is in me he is everywhere i don't have existence without him and the rama he, whom you are seeing you are worshiping is my projection i appear in many ways i appear as this world i appear as the bodies of all jeevas i appear every what all you see what all you understand what all you think what all you experience is myself that rama whom is carrying the dhanush bana and walking in the forest he was myself sita you are seeing is myself lakshmana you are seeing myself nothing is there except me that is the whole reality hanuman you don't have anything your body is myself your mind is myself it is asking me i am telling it 
everything is myself nothing exists without me but wherever you see any duality wherever you see a world wherever you see an object wherever you see anything or hear or experience or understand know that it is sita and sita is not this body it is my own creation i am the atya shakti the power of that consciousness which is all pervading so here we see the whole manifestation is herself the krishna he has come as krishna come as rama come as any devata everything is herself that understanding the ultimate truth shri shri ram krishna is trying to give everyone is under the authority of divine mother maha maya the primal energy even the incarnations of god accept the help of maya to fulfill their mission on the earth they come down for dharma samsthapana to show the path to humans to clear all the debris in each religion and there we see this the primal he is taking recourse to the his own energy power which we call the primal energy chit shakti chaitanya and chit shakti therefore they worship the primal energy don't you see how bitterly rama wept for sita brahman weeps enshrined in the meshes meshes of maya here two things we have to understand is nothing of this world can be changed or altered and my ego is obstructing my knowledge that i am infinite and eternal brahma vishnu maheshwara when they acquire body they forget what they are like that you have forgotten your own real atmanhood the eternal bliss bliss absolute that you are you are sachidananda you are spiritual being you have forgotten and identity identification with the body or caring and moving about with this body as yourself so this understand you are not this body but this spirit and this world the whole world and including you including your own existence as so and so all this is a play going on by the divine mother and she alone can release you nothing happens nothing is true your suffering is false your bondage is false still you are weeping you are experiencing the pain you are experiencing the bondage so just like a child is weeping in sleep we wake it up nothing is there in the dream what all it was seeing in the dream with a tiger or dog and weeping maybe absence of mother and weeping in sleep in dream weeping it's all we know it's false nothing is there but still we wake up like that god tries to wake us up hmm. vishnu incarnated himself as so in order to kill the demon hiranya hiranyaksha after killing the demon the so remained quite happily with her young ones forgetting her real nature she was suckling them with very very contentment contentedly the gods in the heaven could not pursue vishnu to relinquish his soul's body so is pig and return to the celestial reason regions he was absorbed in the happiness of his breast form beast form after consulting among themselves the gods sent shiva to the so shiva asked so 
Why have you forgotten yourself? Vishnu replied through the source body, Why I am quite happy here. Therefore, thereupon, with the stroke of his trident, Shiva destroyed the source body and Vishnu went back to heaven. Hmm. Varaha avatara. Hmm. When God takes, it is the same way we are feeling. Satisfied with small things of the world, forgetting our real nature. Now and then the pain comes, now and then bondage appears. We experience bondage and suffering. No escape, no escape. And which is not there, we are experiencing and we, are, we feel contented. One of the um, in the Holy Mother's conversation, Sharda Devi's conversation, in one incident, some one of her initiated disciples asked her, Mother, for long I have been practicing, I have not attained anything. For that, Mother says, For you the world is more real than God, my child. You are not understanding the world to be two days play even, let alone it being unreal, let alone being transitory. Uh, you are not seeing God as the real and eternal and this as transitory and moving away. Mm. And you are looking at this world as so real. The words of your children and wife hurt you because they are real to you. God's promises and words, whenever He incarnates what He has given, instructions what He has given, you don't care, you don't feel that they are real. Thakur again and again says, to realize God is the only purpose of human life. Do all things inevitable in life and offer it to God and call upon God day and night with love and concern. Wherever you see suffering and pain, try to help them because God is there in Him. Like God you are, you want to see God within you, then you must be able to see in others also. So this, when world is real and God is not real yet, how can you realize Him? So that realization comes to us gradually, slowly, when we start understanding the reality. God alone is real. All this is going to vanish. From other's house, Sri Ramakrishna went to Ram's house. Look at the way Thakur is running from door to door to save the souls, to give them solace, to show them the path, to leave the legacy band in and through them of the spiritual, pure spiritual tradition, Hindu tradition, the Indian tradition, Bharatiya Samskriti of spirituality. He wants to leave, release, help others to hold, carry, realize and give and go. Ramchandra Datta was one of the chief, one of the chief disciples of the Master. Ramchandra Datta, one of the chief the householder disciples of the Master, lived in Calcutta. He had been one of the first to announce the Master as incarnation of God. The Master had visited his house a number of times and unstintingly, unstintingly praised the devotion and generosity of this beloved disciple. A few of the master's disciples 
made Ram's house virtually their own dwelling place. So much devoted and see the vast heart to embrace all uh, permanent dwelling place. Can you go to somebody's house and make somebody's house as they are all there? You also go and get yourself included amidst them and be one with them as their family member. How vast the accommodative power of that person must be there to accept a newcomer, unknown person as his family member and how much of people must be confiding in him to offer themselves and be with them. Ram had arranged a special festival to celebrate the master's visit. Ram had arranged a special festival to celebrate the master's visit. The small courtyard was nicely decorated. A Kathak seated, uh, Kathak means not dance, it is Kathak Thakur means the one who, uh, Pauranika, one who goes on telling the Puranas and stories and about God. Hmm, we, here we call Harikate Dasa, Harikata. Then it's called Kathak. A Kathak seated on the raised platform was reciting from the Bhagavata when the master arrived. Ram greeted him respectfully and seated him near the reader. The disciple was extremely happy. The Kathak was in the midst of the story of King Harishchandra. Hmm. The Ram's devotion for the master and masters endearing them all as his own. Hmm. And you see, though these people are householders, he had the same loving attitude and sacrifice what he would do for the others who are in the, uh, as the monastic disciples who are renounced the world and come. As if one eye of his was the monastic disciples, other were, other eye was the other householder disciples and devotees which came. He never differentiated and loved equally everyone, gave the same treatment, gave the same respect and love for both, but they had different part to play in the divine play and they, they have got different types of responsibilities. The householder devotees and disciples from the outer circle like a fort to protect the inner circle and keep the light burning in the center. And these people who are the monastics living within the fort, helped by the fort itself, the householder disciples, they will be spreading the master's identity, the divine identity who can save the souls, redeem the souls and give them enlightenment and release from the prison house of this relative existence, the nature and enter the life eternal. So these two are the distinct things which without any difference he endeared, loved and sacrificed for. Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Tat Sat Shri Ramakrishna Arpanamastu